Then this is CEA 2015, right? So under this 2015, some modifications and changes are there in the definitions under FA, SA definition, V definition, that is flame proof enclosure, ZA, inspecting officer definitions, then ZCA, intrinsically safe apparatus, ZK, notified voltage, ZWA, self certifications, etc. So some modifications in the uh, definitions under the 2015 rule and then electrical safety officer uh, requirement and some functions and duties are modified in this 2015 rule. Then in the 5A, Chartered Electrical Safety Engineer also, uh, with reference to the rule number 30 and 43, there are some modifications in the 2015. Then in the 32 rule, that is installation and testing of generating units, there is some modification. Then in rule number 42, earth leakage and protective devices, there are some modifications. Under 43, approval by electricity inspector and self certifications. Then 44, use of electricity of voltage exceeding notified voltage. Then in method of earthing, that is rule number 99. So for these rules, some of the modifications and corrections are there in CEA rule number. 2015. Okay, so whatever we have discussed up till now regarding this CEA, that is CEA rule 2010, then the modifications and rectification in 2015. And now this is the notification, uh, which is of 1st March 2018. Right, so Ministry of Power uh, has published this notification on 2018 and there were some changes. So if you observe again, so this is the main reference that is Electricity Act 2003, section number 36 of 2003, then section 177 of 2003, then it is related to the majors relating to safety and electrical supply. Then with reference to the uh, rule 2005 also, so there are some provisions that is electricity procedure for previous publication rule 2005. With reference to that, there are some changes in this uh, rule. So what exactly the changes are with reference to this 2000 notification is. So in the CA rule 2000, where it is mentioned. So under this regulation 2010, in regulation two, there is a definition in the rule number two, that is FA numbering, Chartered Electrical Safety Engineer. So that definition is somewhat changed under this 2018 with reference to 5A. So what is 5A? 5A is related to the electrical inspector, right? So that Chartered Electrical Safety Engineer means a person authorized by the appropriate government as referred to in the regulation 5a so that is the change in this fa definition then under the definition zka that is notified voltage it means a voltage notified by the appropriate government under intimation to the authority for the purpose of specifying the voltage level up to which self certification is to be carried out under regulation 30 and regulation 43. Then there is another change in regulation number five, that is electrical safety officers. So we have already discussed in the previous part also. Now, with reference to this 2080, this uh, electrical safety officer is uh, required the basic education qualification is electrical engineering graduate, but with minimum five years experience now. In the 2010 rule that is given, 
minimum 10 years experience. Now it is modified to five years criteria. And for the diploma electrical engineer, that is 10 years now before uh, 2018, that was 15 years. So that is modified to 10 years. Then in the uh, regulation 5A, that is chartered electrical safety engineer, which is mentioned above also. So that is with reference to rule number 30 and 43. This is uh, approved by or designated by the appropriate government with reference to that uh, rule number 30 and 43. Then rule number 30, that is regulation 30, the periodic inspection and testing of installations and voltage. So that is the main focus of this change in this regulation 30. So electrical inspector is the responsible for this inspection or the periodical inspection and testing of this installation of voltage equal to or below the notified voltage. So notified voltage definition is already given in the uh, starting of these notifications. Then related to these mines, oil fields, and now railways also. So for these specific fields, uh, there are specific guidelines and the responsibility is given to the electrical inspector for the appropriate government. Then there are some, there may be some variations which required some rectifications as per the electrical inspector's advice or the observations and that should be complied. So that compliance, that advice is that rectifications, all these things should be observed by that electrical inspector and appropriate action should be given. Then if it fails to comply, then there is liability of disconnection of that electrical supply. And that is the authority of that electrical inspector. So these are the changes under this rule number 30. Then in 43, there is a provision like every electrical installations of not notified voltage and below shall be inspected tested and self-certified. Now, when we have uh, discussed about the rule, regulation 30, that is regarding the notified voltage. Now this 43 is related to the installation less than the notified voltage or below the notified voltage. And all these things should be also inspected, tested and self-certified by that owner or supplier or that consumer whatever the things or activities are done, that should be inspected by that electrical inspector, but below the <coughs> notified voltage, the certification can be given by the owner, supplier or the consumers. Then every electrical installations of mines, oil fields and railway shall be inspected and tested by that electrical inspector. So that is, the same provisions which is given in the regulation 30. Then again, the same provisions for this 43 also, that is uh, similar to the 30, that if any variation is there, and if any variation is found by that electrical inspector, so that require uh, rectifications. So within the period of 15 days, uh, they have to ask to comply all these things. And then if it is, uh, not complied or if the electrical inspector is not satisfied with the compliance given by the owner or consumer, then within the 90 days period of the submission or exceeding that period of submission, within the 15 days, he may give the notice uh, to the owner or the consumer. If in case he feels that the disconnection is the proper step, then he can go ahead with the disconnection process also. Then in regulation 63, there is a supervision charge of the exchange of 15% of the wages mentioned in the clause B. And the charges incurred by the owner or supplier or consumer in complying with the provisions of section 67. So here it is additional provisions of supervision charges, whatever the a supervision is done by that electrical inspector or the representative of that electrical inspector or the safety officer. So 15% charges are mentioned under this regulation 63. So this is all about the CEA 
under that we already mentioned that what exactly the CEA is, what are the function and duties of the CEAs, who are the members of these uh, CEAs, then uh, what are the regulations. So we have discussed only CA regulation 2010, CA regulation 2015, and CA regulation 2018 only related to the measures relating to the safety and electrical supply. So there are variety of regulations related to the other points also, but we are going to focus only on the safety point of view, right? So this is all about the CA. Thank you.